Virgo, sit here count my blessings. <laughs> Ain't no time for stressing in my life. Hey, my enemies, they made for weapons. <laughs> but what? But I'm protected by the blood of God. What's up, my lovies? Hi, Virgo. Hey, y'all. Hey. Welcome to your daily message. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. How you guys doing today? Happy Eclipse Day. I hope you feel that burst of energy after maybe feeling a little bit drained and tired. I know I felt the effects yesterday. I was super energetic. And today, I wasn't as energetic as I was yesterday. And then after the eclipse, as it was happening, between around like 3, I felt a little bit tired. But I feel really good now. Um, all of that went away. You know, my daughter was saying she was feeling sluggish too. But um, we feel amazing. Everything is great. I hope you guys saw it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's talk real quick about some of the things that it brings. Real quick, let me say a brief announcement. Um, Guys, so is somebody going around pretending to be me? Maybe they're talking to you in the comments, trying to give you a phone number. Whatever they're doing, y'all, don't respond, report. Don't respond to these people down there in the bottom of the comments trying to pretend to be me and asking you for stuff. That long prayer and then ask you for something or tell you to call a number, that is not me, all right? That is not me, okay? Remember, the devil know how to pray too. So you gotta be careful. You have to use your discernment, y'all. And if you see my name down there and it's not highlighted, that's not me. And sometimes on my other channel, you may see my name and it's not highlighted, but it is me. You have to click the name to make sure that it's me. You'll see our videos. You know how I talk. A lot of my A1 Day Ones know my responses. A lot of times it's really short and sweet. It's too many of you guys. Like I, I'm grateful, but it takes time to respond to everybody. And I like to respond to everyone to give out equal amounts of love, positive energy or whatever you, um, what, what have you. All right, so y'all, please use your discernment and be very careful. Y'all, please don't give these people your information. Don't meet up with anybody. Somebody, y'all, people are being smart though. After it doesn't make sense or whatever, they're, they're using my website to contact me to ask me questions. This is the only reason I know why it's happening. All right, so if somebody asks me, I'm set, I'm here. Are you there? Are you here? That kind of stuff is not cool, y'all. I would never meet up with anybody randomly that I have... I don't know. Y'all, We look, I love you guys like family. Y'all, I love y'all so much. But honestly, I don't know you guys like that. Like, I would not just randomly show up to meet somebody. I wouldn't ask you to randomly come and meet me. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be careful. Use your discernment. Ask questions. Or matter of fact, just report them if you know that that's not something that I would do, okay? So use your discernment, all right? All right, now that we got that out the way, thank you guys for listening to that brief church announcement. Let's get into your oracle and tarot, tarot card reading for today. This is your girl, Empress Meek. So you love light and positive energy as always. Shout out to my subscribers and my members. Hey, y'all. Hey, my A1 Day Ones and all my new family members. How you doing? Thank you guys for joining us so, so much. Welcome to the family, okay? You can talk down in the comment section below. All right, talk to your fellow Virgos down in the comments. These flew over there, so we about to see what this is because y'all know when the cards get flying, it's something good in this message, okay? Let's see. Um, But thank you, guys. I'm going to say a prayer over our reading right before I do the tarot. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what Spirit is saying to you today. I hope and pray everybody is operating at their highest frequency, feeling amazing. And I pray that this reading gives you the clarity and the guidance that you need. All right. Hopefully it helps you elevate. Let's see what's going on. We're using the monology, the monology deck, right? <laughs> okay. So we're using this deck. I haven't used it in a minute, but since it's moon energy here, let's see. And this is some of the biggest moon energy, y'all. So real quick before we go into the cards, let me tell y'all about what this new moon energy probably made you feel. Well, first of all, you probably feel a major mental energetic reset. Um, for a lot of you guys, you're getting the reset that you've been needing. Um, some of you have been needing the reset. Your energy, you could have been feeling kind of stagnant or whatever the case may be. Some of y'all could have felt stuck in your head, not really knowing what to do, not really knowing which way to go. 
some of you guys strayed from your faith you haven't been praying um you haven't been really feeling like being bothered some of you guys have been in hermit mode for a very long time um this energy that you're experiencing right now it probably is helping you push out of hermit mode you're gonna want to be seen you're gonna want to come out in the open you're gonna want to clear the air so there's going to be a lot of wanting to resolve issues or move past any type of annoyances or anything holding you back. For a lot of you guys, you're going to want to reconnect with your faith. Some of you guys are going to get back in touch with God, your inner God, um, your inner self, your higher self, the universe. You're going to want to explore the most high or explore what else is out there. All right. Outside of your own way of thinking, which, you know, some of you guys are going to want to become more attuned, attuned with the divine. All right. So you can expect that. All right. Definitely not going to want to be isolated. Um, yeah. And some of you guys may feel a little bit of anxiety because you're thinking about making a big move. You're thinking about taking bold steps. You're thinking about doing things that you haven't really been doing. Um, so these things are a blessing. Okay. They're a gift from the universe to you. So use your time and energy wisely y'all and be mindful how you move through this next cycle. Okay. There is a big, a major portal open for you to grasp some of the things that you really, really want and put your affirmations out into the universe so it'll come to you quicker. So take advantage of that, okay, guys? All right? Make sure you guard your energy, guard your heart, but definitely be bold and take those steps. Take action on the things that you really feel and want to do, all right? You only got one life, Virgo. Live it up, baby. Do, do some things, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into these cards. Somebody needed that message. Overall energy under the bottom of the deck, it says, look at the bigger picture. Go figure. Okay, look at the bigger picture, y'all. Um, what else is out there? What else is really more important to you? Are you just paying attention to the small details only and not really grasping the whole scene? Why things are happening? What are these little steps going to equal up to? Like, why did this get removed out of your life? Why is it time for you to come out of Herman Moon and take some steps toward the things that you really want? You know, look at the bigger picture. Why certain things got moved? Why was the shakeup happening? Why did the shakeup occur? So some things that you need to pay closer attention to and really put together why it happened. For a lot of you guys, I, I hate to say it, but I'm happy to say it. It's about love. It's about the things that's been holding you back energetic, energetically in your heart space. You know, sometimes, Virgo, the, when I say your past person or your person, the energy can always be interchangeable. Sometimes it's you. Sometimes some of you guys are the hurt ones, the ones that are going through hell, the ones that really need help, you know? So, wherever you find yourself at in this reading, Spirit wants you to know not to let the past hold you back. Don't waste another second of your life waiting in expectation or thinking you can change somebody, all right? Change you. Put that energy and that love into you. The room is so silent, y'all. That's how I know my angels are here, your gods are here, and this message is supposed to hit your heart, okay? So please receive this message, guys. Um, take heed to this message and don't waste your time, all right? It's no more time to waste, all right? Don't let your past hold you back. And then we also have meditate and contemplate. So you'll be in tune with the divine and able to make the best decision for your well-being. You don't always have to make a choice and decision right away. You can pull back your energy right away. But the final decision, sometimes it takes a little bit of thought, a little bit of you processing everything that's happened and looking at the bigger picture, right? I know your wants and what you expect, that is important. But you really have to focus on what is best for you. What are you going to really be able to thrive on or thrive in? Like, how is it going to look 10 years from now, five years from now, even two years from now? Like, is it going to be sustainable? Right? Sometimes this is what we got to ask ourselves in order to know what the best move is for us. And unfortunately, sometimes love blinds that. Okay? All right. Conclusions are within reach. So you're very close to getting the answer, figuring out the puzzle, like you're getting your pieces to your puzzle and putting it together, honey. Like things are coming together for you. The universe is supplying your needs when it comes to you figuring out what the next step should be. All right. For some of you guys, you're waiting on something. You could be waiting on somebody to respond, waiting to see something 
whatever this is, whatever you're waiting on, your conclusions are within reach. So very soon you'll have the answers you need to close out this cycle or begin this new cycle or make a decision on whatever this is that you got to do because a decision needs to be made. Right? We got South Node, New Moon in Pisces. We got Full Moon Eclipse. Wow. Conclusions are within reach with this Full Moon Eclipse card. Okay. All right. Some of y'all, you've been holding on to things because you're prideful. Because you don't want to lose. You don't want to admit the fact that this, you shouldn't have held on to this this long. You don't want to admit the fact that somebody was right. You shouldn't have did this. You should have let it go. You shouldn't have said this. You shouldn't have did this. You should have just left this person or this situation stagnant. But it's okay. We live and we learn. Sometimes life is the best teacher. It happens to all of us. And it happened for a reason. Look at the bigger picture. Why did this happen? This definitely is going to prevent you from making the same mistake again. But for somebody, don't let pride get in your way. Don't be too prideful. Humble yourself so you can make the best choice for yourself and for your future. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. This is saying your commitment is being tested. For a lot of you guys, you see that. This could be work, love, or life. How dedicated are you? How far are you willing to go to get the outcome that you really truly want? Right? How passionate are you about achieving your goals and having your dream? You're being tested. By the universe, by the divine. And the people around you are being used to test you. Right? All right. Whatever this is. All right. Spirit wants you to take time to breathe out. Take time to just breathe. You don't always have to jump into action so quick. Like this was saying, take time to meditate and contemplate. Take some time for yourself. Okay? That's what this is wanting you to do. Now... Let's go ahead and get some more cards out to see exactly why this came out. I got us a new deck. No, I did not create this deck, but my decks are almost finished. Um, I think these are gorgeous and they match our table. So come on, y'all. Let's see what these cards bring out for the Virgo. Then we'll use the tarot to clarify this message, okay? So these are your Oracle cards. This is the surrounding energy. Clarifying this message. Why did this come out? Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. We're going to start there. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. For my Virgo lovies. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for protecting us, for guiding us, giving us peace that passes all understanding. Whew, you got some money to get, baby. Don't let your past hold you back. Thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face. Thank you so much for blinding every evil eye. Thank you for binding and blocking every monitoring spirit, every familiar and unfamiliar spirit. Thank you so, so much for the peace that passes all understanding and your divine guidance and protection. Thank you for victory in every situation we may face. Abundance and overflow, overflow, overflow. <laughs> and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen. And help somebody who is less fortunate. Amen. And amen. You're ascending. So we got abundance. We got the coffin. We got the chaser. We got ascending. Narcissist. Your commitment is being tested, separation, and seduction. All right, y'all, let's go through it. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Underneath the bottom of the deck, y'all, Virgo, you could be very old school with the way you do things. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events in your head over and over. All right, so you could be very old school with the way you do things, with the way you're thinking, or somebody that you're dealing with is very old school. I feel like this is you that's old school, very traditional. I feel like there's a certain way that you want to do things. Let me turn these over because we're going to go through these one at a time. So let's talk about these one at a time, okay? Look at the bigger picture, old school. All right, so with this abundance, let's talk about this money you got coming. More money, more money. 
Um, so it says positive mindset. Keep a positive mindset. Manifesting gratitude and bliss. Blessings. All right. Blessings on blessings on blessings. It says don't let your past hold you back. You're on the path to greatness. Right now you're on the path to having more money than you've ever had in your life. For a lot of you guys, you're ambitious, you're driven, you're thriving, and you're doing it without your ex. Without the problems from the past weighing you down. Forget what you experienced, all right? Let it go. You don't have to, you can remember it, but put it in the back of your mind so that it won't weigh you down while you're excelling, right? While you're on your way to the bank, honey, okay? Because God got so many amazing plans for you. Y'all are right here at this place where you're manifesting the money, the life that you want. Like, don't let the past, accidents, mistakes, um, hindrance, people, uh, and people stuck in their old way of thinking like you're supposed to be stuck with them. No, move past it, Virgo. You can do it, okay? So elevate yourself. Let yourself elevate into this abundant place. Somebody is about to walk in their wealthy place. Life is about to get so much easier, all right? Somebody is living in a life of gratitude. You're very grateful for everything that God has been doing in your life. And there's so much more to come. So don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your heart be heavy and dark. All right. Try your best to walk in forgiveness, walk in gratitude, walk in love. So you can have the peace that you need to be able to continue to manifest and thrive. All right. Then we got coughing. Meditate and contemplate because something needs to be ended so there can be a new beginning. We got reborn, transition, um, tragic endings. All right. So somebody could definitely be losing somebody here. Um, but there's a need for you to ground yourself. There's a need for you to regroup. There's a need for you to cleanse your energy and cleanse your mind. Somebody definitely could be dealing with the Pisces here. But there's definitely some type of new beginning that's going to come out of this ending. Um, and there's going to be liberation here. So somebody is going to feel very liberated. All right. Feeling liberated like you can do this. All right. Somebody is going to be lifting up your spirits or something is going to happen to lift up your spirits and make you feel more positive about this and help you embrace this transition. All right, my condolences to anybody that is losing somebody, but somebody definitely is going through the hard time of transition, losing somebody, an ending that's bringing in a new beginning. All right, we have conclusions are within reach, the chaser. Somebody, this could even mean a relationship that's ending. It doesn't have to be a physical death, okay, or somebody losing their life. Um, it can mean a relationship, but we have conclusions are within reach, fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependencies, all right? I feel like this cycle is coming to an end, all right? Somebody is recognizing their own faults here, and I feel like this past person, this situation that happened in the past taught you a lot about yourself, and it taught you a lot about the things that you need to change in order to be better. So I feel like somebody definitely has been walking in this energy of shedding old skin, Shutting old habits and trying to become your new version of yourself. And then we have ascending, learning and expansion, preparing for union, a new phase. Don't let pride get in your way. All right. So somebody needs to humble themselves a little bit. Don't be too prideful. All right. Don't make it so hard for somebody to get to know you or, you know, feel comfortable around you. I'm getting the feeling to tell you, the energy to tell you to be a little bit more welcoming. Um, show that you've learned these lessons and you don't have to be bitter and cold to protect yourself. You know, you can still be open, your fun, flirty, intelligent self without um, closing somebody off or and still protect yourself and have boundaries set, right? It says show the world the real you, the golden mirror. What you give out is what you get back. For somebody, it's important for you to just be yourself in a situation. I feel like some, but I feel like because the part of you that you show that's your real self instead of this very nice part of you, it's important for you to show yourself the self that will protect you, your moon energy. This is saying somebody is love bombing a self-absorbed one-sided person, narcissist. Show the world the real you. I wonder why I'm saying that. Is somebody a bit narcissistic here? Is this you or is this your person? Um, but whatever it is, because it does say don't let your pride get in the way. 
It says show the world the real you. Something has to do with an Aquarius maybe. Maybe it's an Aquarius that's a narcissist and you're sick of this person and you really need to show this person the other side of Virgo. Okay? The side that doesn't take any crap. The side that is very direct, very stern, and can be cold if you have to be. Somebody might need to see that. I mean, hey, it's there in each and every one of you guys. Y'all ain't fooling me, I know. Okay? Um, but that's your that's your protection, right? Otherwise, you'll be gullible. You'll be um, a doormat. <laughs> and we can't have that. Okay, we can't have Virgo being a doormat. So you got to have a good balance, yin-yang energy. And somebody going to have to get a taste of the yang. Okay, <laughs> for real. All right, your commitment is being tested. Sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain of the future. So some of you guys are being tested. Some of you guys are being tested. And whatever's happening here is putting you in this chaser energy. Right? Something definitely probably needs to come to an end. There needs to be an ending for you to have this new beginning. Some of y'all are full of yourselves and it's showing in these cards. Right? It's saying show the world the real you. <laughs> Self-absorbed. Somebody is in this energy. Whoever it is. It says time to breathe out. Seduction. Attracting. Somebody could definitely be being pursued by this narcissist doll. It's not everybody that's in that narcissistic energy. Somebody actually is dealing with the narcissist. But it's a select few that is in this narcissist energy. And I still love you anyway. I mean, you still learning. You still getting yourself together. I mean, somebody did something to put you there. Right? Where you got to show that you know your worth or whatever the case may be. Somebody got hurt to the point where you're never letting it happen again. And you're never letting anybody make you feel low again. Like, I understand that. I really do. Um, but it's a thin line. And Spirit wants you to take account of certain actions. Okay? Um, time to breathe out. Yeah, with this attraction and teasing, hooking up, dating, and third-party temptation. Somebody is trying to seduce you. I'm telling you. Like, they want you in this um, chaser energy. But they see that you're old school. <laughs> they see that you're old school. So you do things differently. It's like you're not with the fast stuff. Like, you're trying to take your time, get to know somebody, see where this is going. You want somebody to take their time with you, pull back your layers, or whatever the case may be. Right, so I feel you, Virgo. That's what we're working with here. So now, let's see what the story is that made this come about. Let's find out what's going on. We're about to use the tarot to get into this message to see exactly why this is here. Who is this with this seduction, narcissist? Like, what's going on here? We got money here. Some type of ending, bringing a new beginning, ascending. The chaser. I'm telling you, Virgo, you could be chasing a bag, okay? You could definitely be chasing a bag. Like, all you're thinking about is your well-being as far as financially for some of you guys. That is what's important to you. Um, but look at the bigger picture is here. Let's see what Spirit is trying to tell you. Time is going fast as I don't know what. Jeez Louise. Like, I'm trying to get a good message here. Time is flying, y'all. Let's get these cards and see what's up, what's happening here. All right. So we got abundance here, a positive mindset, manifest gratitude and bliss. What's going on with this abundance for Virgo? What's happening here with this abundance for Virgo? Defeated. Somebody feels defeated when it comes to manifesting the abundance that you want. Or somebody is being kind of vindictive. This could be at work, y'all. This is about your money. So this is at work where people are being underhanded, very cutthroat, sneaky, trifling. Like you're sick of these people, honestly. But you've been playing nice. You're doing your best to try to stand your ground and manifest the life that you want. Why is the Five of Swords here? Somebody definitely is not playing fair. With the lover situation. Yeah. So with the lovers. This represents a euphoric choice, all right? This is, it's like you kind of knew that this situation was a bit toxic when you decided to do it, but you decided to do it anyway. You could have picked up on some toxic energy, picked up on some of the people that are there, 
Um, but you're going to get some type of offer, something better, maybe, maybe even a raise. I feel like somebody is mad because they're trying to prevent you from getting this raise or getting this offer that's going to make things better for you, but they can't stop it. All right. That's yours. Something is going to happen where it's going to bring you the abundance that you've been working so hard for. Yeah. With the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, right? Somebody sees you as dedicated, um, reliable, dependable and all those things somebody definitely could have somebody that's looking at you like you're they hit the jackpot with you all right with this knight of cups and this knight of pentacles somebody definitely could be dealing with the water sign or another earth sign that wants to seduce you that or tries to seduce you somebody secretly wants you all to themselves with the moon energy here somebody definitely could also be dealing with a pisces show me learning and expansion you preparing for union or preparing for a new phase. Some of y'all are getting your hearts together. Yeah. You on a new beginning. You're trying to get your heart right so you can have this love that you want. With the full energy. Some of y'all have this person that's about to make you an offer. This Knight of Pentacles. It's a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. They want to get to know you better. All right. Somebody is definitely about to make you an offer. We got the chaser here. Or they could have made you an offer and you're not interested. Okay. So we, we got the energy of somebody who's dealing with a work situation. And we also have the energy of somebody who's dealing with a love situation. All right. Somebody here only has the lover's energy to offer. Somebody is impressed with your money and how you manifest money. And they want a piece of that power, honey. Trust me. All right. But with the chaser here, fear of abandonment, chasing and codependencies, somebody's walking away from that energy. See, you're finding yourself. Somebody is deciding to get away from that. Like, somebody is tired of chasing or doesn't want to be chased by somebody. Yeah, you're moving on the calmer waters. Somebody here feels like that person is a pain in the behind. And we got the coffin card here. New beginnings. Yeah, leaving somebody out in the cold. Somebody is definitely leaving the idea of somebody out in the cold. What's the, um, show me one on the fool. Yeah, some type of new beginning. You're taking action. There's going to be some messages or something. Somebody could be talking to you. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, good news surrounding money. Somebody could be getting a new job. Um, This is new money coming in, new stability. Um, Somebody could be meeting somebody new or about to get in a relationship. Somebody is about to take action towards you or talk to somebody about Building a family, starting a relationship, being more stable. Or this is more money, honey, okay? Because you're taking your time. Somebody is definitely being recognized here um, as stable and secure. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo that's trying to be strong, but they like you. This could be you moving to and from in your neighborhood or somebody moving to a new neighborhood. And it's going to be the best move that you decided to make. Finally, you're getting away from this chaser, somebody who keeps chasing you and bothering you, and you're so sick of this person. But look at this with the strength card. Yeah, you're about to get some good news re revolving around money. All right, so somebody's life is about to change. You're on this new beginning, and you're going to be more wealthy. All right, somebody's life is definitely about to change, and this is the break you need to help you balance out the energies. It's helping you balance things out. It's going to make things work in your favor yeah somebody is going to get the call or some type of communication is going to come in it's going to be an offer wow virgo let's go okay let's get it uh-huh somebody's moving away from this chaser i feel like this person is so sneaky and low down right somebody is watching you kind of deceptive all right Somebody, and if this is a work situation, somebody could definitely be trying to watch you, trying to take something from you. This could be family trying to take something from you. Whatever this is that these people are doing or this person is doing, you're moving away from it. You're like, I'm sick of you sneaking around all the time, lying or whatever the case may be, chasing me, hunting me down. Like you're sick of it. Somebody is putting a close to this cycle and for good. You are. With the five of pentacles left out in the cold, this could also be representing somebody coming in from financial hardship. This is the end of being broke for somebody. Yes, it is, sweetie. You say hi to Virgo? No, don't push on that. Stop. Don't do that. 
Yeah, with the Seven of Cups here. Being careful about your choices. Huh, Virgo getting that money. Mm-hmm. Stop, sweetie. Stop. Oh, my God, y'all. She rubbing up against the camera stand. My bad, y'all. It's not a it's not an um earthquake. It's sweetie rubbing on the stand. She's saying hi. No? <laughs> With the seven of cups, yeah. Somebody's choosing wisely. Look, it's the end of financial hardship for somebody and being left out of the cold. Some of y'all could be feeling like you're left out of the cold um being single. Now you're gonna have options. Somebody's gonna have more than one job to choose from, more than one partner or suitor to choose from. All right, so things are gonna be looking up for you. Like these um choices are coming in. Definitely the end of feeling left out in the cold, stagnant and broke, or just alone. Yeah, no more feeling left out in the cold. Seven of Pentacles, choose wisely. Choose wisely with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, who you take an offer from. It's like somebody's getting a lot of offers here. All of a sudden, offers are going to start pouring in. And I feel like this is going to be love. It's going to be work. Be careful, okay? Show me seduction. Wow. Justice. Attraction. Hooking up. Third party. Temptation. Justice here. Finally closing the cycle for good. Feeling like you're left out in the cold. Feeling like you're dealing with just slim pickings with the five of pentacles. That's way less than the ten of pentacles. And now you're getting the ten of pentacles. Somebody's getting a relationship. Somebody's getting better offers. More suitable offers that match your energy. Yeah, somebody is attracting boss energy now. Work, love, and life, you're attracting boss energy. Boss friends, bossing up your life, period. A total turnaround. Your life is about to do a total 360. Like, it's everything is about to change. Or maybe more than a 360. <laughs> Look. But you have in victory when it comes to these people that's trying to seduce you. When it's coming to these people that want you heartbroken. Somebody is healing from heartbreak. This is under the bottom of the deck. And I feel like this is the energy that you're overcoming. Okay? I really do. I feel like that's the energy that you're overcoming. And this is telling me that whatever this person did really hurt your feelings. But somebody is winning when it comes to a Capricorn or this double energy, this temptation. You're getting justice. Okay? Things are working out for you. Some of y'all, it's about sex with this devil card, right? And you're getting justice. Standing your ground. You're worth so much more, right? And somebody is standing their ground here. Show me separation, sadness, bitterness, missing you. Judgment. You made a judgment on this person. They're missing you. The universe saw what happened. The universe saw. God sees everything. And God saw what happened. It's like, no, don't worry, Virgo. I got you. Come this way. Walk your path. Just keep straight and keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on peace, happiness, love, joy, support, um, victory. Keep your eyes ahead, right? Don't look back. All right? So that's the energy. Definitely overcoming this obstacle. Show me judgment. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's deciding to be single. Somebody is thinking about you. Thinking about the judgment that you made. This could be another earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. But somebody's thinking about you. Somebody could want you to reconsider your decision. It looks like you're ignoring this person's offer. Because somebody is sad. Feeling like they spilled the cups, knowing that they messed up. Somebody, it's like they tried to offer you the bare minimum to see what they could get from you, but that didn't work. It backfired. So in turn, it made you not attracted to them. And then look, it's like you found out that this person was giving to two or either this is God blessing you and this person now they're waiting to be blessed. It's like, no, I'm going to give my offer to somebody else because you didn't appreciate it when I gave it to you. So now this person is looking like, where's mine? They still waiting. They're not going to get what you had to give them. Now it's going somewhere else. So you taking your offer elsewhere. You see somebody as a narcissist. They so full of themselves. They are. They so full of themselves. 
and you're over it. Show me narcissists. Love bombing. Somebody being extra nice to get what they want. Ooh, two of cups. Somebody could, listen, somebody could be, look, somebody could be saying all the right things and telling you everything you want to hear because they see you got this big bag. Somebody is about to get a lot of money. This money is about to come in for you and you're going to be so happy. Somebody is about to get some type of lump sum. Wow, with the two of cups in alignment, somebody definitely could be offering a relationship or somebody's offering you a job. Show me old school, outdated thinking. Yeah, this person is all in their head. Somebody's feeling like they missed an opportunity with you and now you're giving your offer to somebody else. you like, you never were going to give me what I wanted. All you was offering me is some pennies. Get away from my reading, sweetie. No. <laughs> she said no to the pennies. Soon I said all you was going to do was offer me some pennies. Sweetie came over and said no. Sweetie, we take pennies. Nope, you heard it. <laughs> Say no thank you, no loose change. No. She said no. <laughs> Let me see. Show me eight of swords. Somebody definitely is all in their head. Ooh, about this ending. About this ending. Yep, somebody is thinking. They overthinking the situation. And somebody is a hermit. They gone in a hermit mood. Yeah, some of y'all, this is you. But I feel like you're dealing with another earth sign towards Capricorn or Virgo. And this person wants to talk to you. They want to express how they feel with the Knight of Swords energy. But I feel like they're thinking about how they came at you and they should have took a different approach. But because they didn't think things through and they just act off impulse, it kind of messed everything up. Now they realize like Virgo is old school. It's a certain way you got to do things with the Virgo. All right, Virgo the virgin, okay? How you going to rush a virgin? Like, come on. Like, it's the way that they did things. And now they're thinking about it. They are. They try to seduce you. They try to lead off with seduction or whatever this is. And it really backfired on them. It really did. Mm, that's so sad. Let's see what's going on. If you're waiting for your reading, my love, I'm going to get right back to it right after this. But let's see what else is going on here and what else Spirit wants you to know in closing. Let's pull these Oracle cards and get the advice for Virgo going forward. What is Virgo needing to know moving forward? What does Virgo need to know moving forward? Oh, a witch is a wish. I was about to say a witch. A wish is granted. A witch is watching. <laughs> well, we rebuke you. All right. We rebuke you. It says, What you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to exist in the manifestation process. So some of y'all asked for a new home. Some of y'all asked for a new car. Whatever this is, this Ace of Pentacles is an offer. It's a, it's a blessed opportunity. You got the Ace of Swords. So you're getting, if you ask for an ending or a beginning, you're getting it. All right? And you're going to talk about it. Something is going to happen. You're going to get an idea, a bright idea. Or somebody's going to get an idea to come toward you. And then the Ace of Pentacles. You got three cards talking about a overflow of abundance. So you are about to get some type of overflow of abundance. Sudden wealth is here. Like unexpected income. It's love, money, or something like that. Okay. Um, let's see what Spirit want to tell you so I can close your reading, my love. I pray that this reading helped. Okay. Let's get the romance angels real quick because I feel like some of my Virgos are wondering, like, what's next in love? Like, is this an offer? Is this money? Is this love? Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It's both. It's, it, it is. It really is both. Somebody's going to get a house. Somebody's going to get a car. And somebody's going to get a lump sum. When somebody's person passes, you're going to get money too somehow. Let me see. Spirit, what is this for Virgo? Sweetie, you just want the money. Yes, you do. You keep coming back for the money. Yes, <laughs> she said no. Let's see. She talking up a storm, right? Okay, so getting to know each other. It says as you reveal your um your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I told you for somebody, it's a relationship. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. Okay. 
Yes, stop holding yourself back for this raggedy person that's not coming back. Like, they're lying, okay? They are narcissists. All they care about is controlling you, Virgo. They just, they don't want, they, they're not. They don't want to be committed. The signs are cautioning you. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? So, somebody just wants to seduce you. Don't be over nice to these people. Pay close attention. I feel like it's something here that you want that's not for you. It's something else here that's going to come in that's for you. For some of you guys, it's somebody trying to make an offer. It could be a younger earth sign, but this is going to just bring some confusion. So it's best to end this situation. For some of y'all, you wanted to take this opportunity because you don't want to be left out in the cold. You feel like it's a connection there. But God is saying, baby, you got new love coming. So Virgo, wait on this. You got new love coming. You're going to really love this new offer. It's going to be blessed. A blessed new love, okay? So keep an open mind also because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So keep an open mind, okay, my love? Keep an open mind. Yes, but this sudden income is going to blow you away because for some of y'all, it's not only going to be money, it's going to be new love. And you're not expecting that. You're thinking that you're not going to get another person. Some of y'all thinking that just because you said, I'm staying single, you're not going to meet nobody. But you just might meet somebody that you like. Sweetie, stop yelling out that window to that boy cat. you just being too fresh. You stop that. Stop being grown. Y'all, her boyfriend in the windowsill, so she's acting up, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, sweetie said, did you say new love? <laughs> oh, for Virgo, let's close this reading out, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit, for the Virgos. What do you want them to know, Spirit? Show me, show me most high for the Virgos. Let's see what God wants you to know, baby. Oh, look at that, Virgo. I told you. This card says, be patient, trust the weight. Everything is coming together. Baby, don't, oh my God, a new career path will be highly successful. Trust the magic of newness. See, somebody is about to get so much money. This is going to be more money than you've made in a while. All right, this is going to give you everything. You've been manifesting a new house, a new car. You've been manifesting a bigger savings account. Like all of this stuff is going to come in. Like, oh my God, Virgo, be patient. Don't quit. Don't give up and don't change your path. Stay focused, okay? Stay focused for right now. And y'all know who I'm talking to. You'll feel it inside, okay? Of course, this video can resonate with every single Virgo that's listening. But take into consideration the big picture and where you are. That will help you see if this is for you and what parts are for you, okay? Um, feel free to get a reading with me at closer than number two, mydestiny.com, or email me if you're having trouble getting onto the website as we're in transition getting a new website. It's still safe to book your readings there, um, but I'm getting another one where we won't have so many glitches, okay? I want it to be open. I want everybody to feel comfortable, so I'm going to do that. In the meantime, if you can't get into it, then you can email me, okay? Closer than number two to my destiny the number one at gmail.com is my email um be patient trust the weight everything is coming together you're not getting no boyfriend hush all right so explore the possibilities okay explore the possibilities that seven of cups energy right here that we saw all right so explore your possibilities don't make any rush decisions take your time to decide so you can make the best choice for you okay it's not a rush it's all up to you. It says to rise, you must let go of fear. Don't be scared. All right. Yeah, we've been through worse, right? Don't be scared that you're going to fail. Don't be scared that it's not going to work. Don't be scared that you're not going to have as much as you have. Trust the same God that got you this far. Okay. Trust the God in you that gave you the clarity you need to know what to choose. Right. All right. It says the healing must be completed before you can transform. So let go whatever needs to be let go that might be holding you back, okay? Somebody type let go and let God in the comments. Help your brothers and sisters out, okay? Beware of those scammers, y'all. Report these people. I'm sick of them doing that crap to my Virgos, trying to steal y'all money. Y'all know better than be talking to strangers y'all don't know. Y'all know I'm not going to be like, meet me down here or, hey, call me on this number. No, I'm not going to do that. I ask everybody to communicate with me through email. 
um, you get a number sometimes if you book your reading and you need to contact me it's for emergency purposes only and of course it's a Baltimore number all right and all you have to do is message me and say hey is this you okay send me those messages that they send to y'all okay so I can report them I need pictures to send to YouTube all right send it to my email all right, I love you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, my lovies.